Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. This is our quick overview of how to use our PowerPoint add-in. So let's get started so I can quickly get through this. If I go up to Insert, if you haven't, um, if you haven't loaded the PowerPoint add-in, go to Get Add-ins, search right here for Presenter Media. When it comes up, just add it here using that button. Go over to Home in the top uh, menu and go over to the right on the ribbon and click on Presenter Media. This opens up and I'm going to sign out really quick to show you how to sign in. So sign in is just at the top. Click on that. It will open a window to log in. You can log in using Microsoft um, if your email address is sync or you can just use the login like on the website. Once I'm logged in I will get uh, a task pane over here with different options to open template slides. That's our PowerPoint templates, custom graphics, video maker, and our online or our word cloud maker. And all these different options will take you to different places down here for different content. So I'm going to open up uh, slide templates. And this is my template view. These are all templates I can mouse over to see the animation of what they look like. I can also click into them to see different slides inside the template and I can add different slides using these plus buttons. There's also a toggle here. I can click to slides view and this will give me a, list, a look at all the slides on that page at one time. And I can add these individually as well using the plus sign easy way to build a slide deck in over here very quickly. So I'm going to go back to my slide. There we go. Okay. There's also keep source formatting. If I click keep source formatting on, it will use the colors inside the template I load into PowerPoint. If I keep it off, the template that I load into PowerPoint will take on the theme colors of the presentation um, and, or the theme colors of PowerPoint you're using. So let's see, I'm going to go to animations. Here you can, if the plus has a plus sign, you can load it quickly into your slides. If it has a green button in the corner with a gear, that means you can click into it and you can, let's wait for a second while it loads. You can customize the sign. You can look at the sample to see what you're doing. Um, it's not going to update in real time, but you can get your design ready over here and then you can build custom item and it will build it out for you and it will be ready up here in the gears ready for you to add to PowerPoint when it's done. These gear will rotate when it's processing and it will alert you when it's done. Okay, let's keep going on to presentation clip art. If you want to um, customize, actually just modify the colors of a regular uh, animation or clip art, you just click on the thumbnail and it'll give you different variations. You can click through and you just build the image and it'll give you, it'll prompt you to insert it into PowerPoint. And if you, again, if you want to customize an item like a clip art, you just click into it and you can just uh, edit the work area here. Look at the sample. This will not update in real time, but it'll give you an idea of what it's going to kind of look like when it's all done. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to custom graphics and the word cloud generator. I can access that here or word cloud maker over here. Same thing. So I'm going to click on that. And I have all these options of different word clouds I can start from. If I start from this question mark, you'll see that it's all, all ready to go. If you like these words, you can just, um, Let's see, you could just s s s add to PowerPoint here and it would it'd get you to where you need to go to load it into your slides. Um, you can go through all this and um, kind of customize it however you want it and then load it in and then build it. Uh, you can save it to My Media if you're done. If you want to come back to it later and use it again or change the words and not want to have to redo the whole thing. Okay, let's go to video backgrounds. Our video backgrounds are um, similar to 
animations and clip art. Some are ready to add in right into PowerPoint by clicking the plus sign. Um, you can also click into the those ones that you can add in too to customize them even further. If you wanted to add uh, different text here, you can change the text. And then you go to File, Make PowerPoint Video, and you can load it in. Right down here, you can preview the video, and it'll play through the slides if you want to check it out before you add it to your presentation. I'm going to head out of that. And also, you get these are... <clears throat> If you see a video background that doesn't have text on it, uh, it's, it's a basic video background. And those you can just add in as they are using the plus button, or you can click into them to use the hue color to change the colors to what you want. And you can use the brightness and saturation as well to kind of get the look you're looking for. And then you can build a custom item and you'll load it from the gears up here add to PowerPoint, or it'll be available in My Media and Uploads. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go to, oh, background music here. So background music, you can click the play button, button to listen to the music. And if you like it, you can add the plus button, which, or click on the plus button to add it to your slides. And you'll get a, a new slide that has the file on it and you'll just copy and paste that to the slide that you want to have the music play on it and it'll give you some instructions down here that you can kind of follow to get the options that you want for the the music let me open that window back up okay so now we we have a search bar up here if you want to search anything, you can click on filters and click multiple things you want to search in or just click one thing. If you want to search custom stuff, you can click custom and the, the thing you want to search in. So the category, I want to search in uh, clip art and I want it to be custom. So if I search that, I'll bring up all custom stuff inside clip art. And up here in favorites, if I click on that, this is all the favorited stuff that I've um, checked or starred if you click on that star um, and add it to my favorites over time each item will have a star on it to check and turn on if you want to keep that and save it in your favorites if I go to my media and uploads this is where all my custom downloads or custom creations um, this blue first button if it's blue it's selected it will show everything that I've created um, over time. Um, it will be deleted after 90 days. So if you make something and you want to keep it forever and use it on other presentations in the future, just click click to save and it will save that forever. You can add to your presentation right from here. So if you make a video and you come back to it later on the next day or some other time, you can always click into My Media and add it to your presentation from here. So if you make a custom item and you're like, I want to use this on another presentation down the road, just find that and you can load it right in. And you can also delete um, items from here or redo them. So say I make a video for a presentation now and two months later I want to use the same video that I made, but I just want to change a few words. Just click redo and it'll take you to that video and you can change those words and and save that video back out and look, add it back in, add it into your presentation. And uh, my uploads, you can click on that and you can see all the uploads that you've um, added to your or my uploads and you can upload your logo or any images or pictures that you want to by clicking uh, upload media and searching on your computer for the files you want to add. And you can select multiple files at once from your computer and it'll, it'll upload them all and I believe that that's all so you got your gear here that, again that will show you um, a gear spinning up here as your custom items process and finish and build and they will give you a list of them right in here that you can add to your PowerPoint from here or you can click into my uploads like I said before and go to custom downloads or custom creations and 
I'll load them, load them in that way. So I think that's all for this tutorial. I uh, kept it around 10 minutes, so hopefully that's fast enough for you to get an idea of what um, the add-in can do. And yeah, enjoy the add-in. I hope it saves you a lot of time and you start making some great presentations even faster. Have a great day.